Hi everyone, we're going to look at registering for your classes. After you have logged into ARIAN, go to the widget entitled Registration and select Register for Classes. Go to Open Registration Period and select the period for which you want to register. Then click Begin Continue Registration below in the blue box. At step 1 in the registration process, you will see your courses. Here you type in the course code or title and select the blue search box. Or you can scroll down and select the courses if they are shown below. Select the course that is most convenient. You can also remove a course if you don't wish to do it before continuing to the next step. Before continuing to the next step, you can also view your full load of courses. Prerequisite override requests. Extra classes. Failed course petitions and you can view and modify your waiting list. Select continue to the next step to calculate your charges at step 2 of the registration process. Here you will see your total charges. To pay your fees, continue to step 3. It is important to note that you are only allowed one online registration per day. At step 3, you select your payment option. Then you select pay now. If you have 50% or more of the tuition, you can register online. However, if it is not the full amount, you will have to agree to a payment plan. At step 4, you will receive a registration confirmation message. How to upload assignments. After you have logged into ARN, go to the assignment widget below or courses to the left. If you go to courses to the left, select the course that you want to upload the assignment for. Go to Assignments, identify the assignment you want to upload under the Assignments column and click Do View in the same row of the identified assignment under the Actions column. 
go to upload files and select choose file. To choose a file from your device, then upload it. After it has been uploaded, you can download the file to view it. And you can also delete it if it is not the one you intended to submit. Once you are satisfied with what you have uploaded, click the submit button. How to check on previous courses. After you have logged into Aorion, go to courses on your left. Select by term year. Select the term and year which the course was done and click submit. If you should go back to courses, on the left you will see all the courses you did at that time. Select the one you want to access the information from. Here you will have access to all the information that was uploaded during the time the course was taken, like your class attendance, learning units and assignments that were uploaded. How to log into an online class. After you have logged into Aorian, go to the notification widget and click the link to the online class. This will take you to the learning units of the course where you will see another link that will take you to the online class on Blackboard Collaborate. If the live session is available, click the link and continue. The meeting will be automatically downloaded. When the meeting is finished being downloaded, click it. Run the application and wait for it to load. Now you're in your online class. Hi everyone, we're going to look at accessing your exam permit. After you have logged into ARN, go to the widget entitled Finance and select Exam Permit. To access your exam permit, select the term 
campus and schedule type you are registered for and select submit. Your exam permit will then appear below. Click here to download a printable copy. After it has been downloaded, you can go ahead and print your exam permit. Hi everyone, we're going to look at checking your registration status. After you have logged into your ARIAN, go to the widget entitled Registration and select Check Registration Status. This will bring you to the Check Registration Status page wherein you would select the year, term, schedule and campus for which you want to check the status. Then select the blue box entitled Show Course and Registration Information. Here you will see the courses that were selected for that period, the online ad drop checklist for the selected period, and, and the ad drops for the selected term, and your registration status for the semester. everyone we're going to look at finding all your grades after you have logged into your ARN go to the widget entitled my info and select view GPA here you will see all your grades in a grade count bar You can scroll down and look at all the grades you have received according to the time in which they were done. You can also select table view which will bring you to a more detailed grade sheet. Now you can go ahead and view your grades on ARM. Hi everyone, we're going to look at accessing your entrance exam results. After you have gone to ARN page, select entrance exam results. This will take you to the page entitled entrance exam information, wherein you would have to search by the receipt number or your ID number. After you have entered the necessary information, select search and your exam results will come up below with the receipt number exam date, exam name, recommended course, and recommended course title. Hi everyone, we're going to look at adding and dropping off courses. After you have logged into ARN, go to the widget entitled Registration and select Change in Registration. After that, go to Open Add Drop Period and select 
the period for which you want to make changes. After that, select the blue rectangle entitled Changing Registration Add Drop. This will bring you to step one in adding and dropping of courses. If you are dropping a course, you select one from the list of courses you have already been registered for and if you want to add one, you type in the course code or title beside the blue search box below and select the course you want to add. When you are finished, select go to the next step. Here you will see the details of the courses to be added and dropped along with the amount payable and payment option from which you will select one. Then you will select finish the process in the blue box below. You will then receive a message stating that your transaction was successful. You may also go back to view the previous steps and see the adjustments made to your courses. Now you can go ahead and do your adding and dropping of courses online. Hi everyone, we're going to look at doing a check requisition online. After you have logged into your ARN account, go to the widget entitled Finance and select Requisition. Select New Check Requisition. You will be required to give information relating to your bank account. Currency. Your middle name. Account number. Purpose of precision. The branch of the bank. Check requisition type, first name, last name, TRN, email, and amount requested. After you have provided the requested information, you select submit in the blue box below. The request will be submitted and a copy will be sent to your email. Program check. After you have logged into ARN, go to the academic widget and select program check. Select do check for a selected program. Your program would have already been present. Here you will see your ID number name, program of study, and your external passes at the basis of administration. The categories of courses to be done are required cognates, general education requirements, core requirements, and non-program courses. To view additional information, select the plus sign in the box beside the abbreviation of the course category. the 
course code, course title, the amount of credit the course carries, the required grade to pass the course, the grade that you received, the status, a column to indicate if the prerequisite has been done and the term of the course was taken.